believe in victory. Battle one. Engage. As long as he is aware. Okay. Well, uh, the person playing right now, even though you can't see on stream right now, is using Fairy. <laughs> so, yeah, uh, Fairy is, uh, she's like the, the Sony character. Grand Blue Inception <laughs> here. Oh, there we go. Okay. So she's a whip character. She's a whip, so she's more of a range character. Ah. So yeah, I already saw the little, uh, almost like the Yoga Fire fireball right yeah. there. So she's is very she much a, like a Dalsim character. So she's considered like a zoner, basically. Yeah. She's oh, that. Dang. Yeah. Okay. She even got the range on the whip. So she has the range on the whip, but the, even the whip has a hurt box, mm -hmm. so you can still hit. Now, if we're looking at the special moves on the screen, I see how slowly Fairy's filled up, uh -huh. but how quickly Catalina's filled up. Is that the difference That's between? The diff uh, the, some of her moves are, do have a slower startup, though, mm -hmm. so or a slower cooldown. Okay, okay. So, so different special moves have different cooldown yeah, speeds. It's not always be the same. Okay, okay. Like fireballs usually have a quick, you know. Ah, okay. So that wasn't only just the difference between yeah. the, the doing the input and using the shortcut. Okay, gotcha. So right now, for example, Catalina's is building up a little bit slowly there. Yeah. Are those can, are those the easy input ones or? Uh, I believe so, but. Okay. Oh, dodges. Yeah, there is spot dodging in this game as well. Spot okay. dodging and four goals. Nice. So that's a universal mechanic then. Okay. Punish, yeah, there we go. Nice, that's the auto combo I'm assuming that's right the there. Combo. Now, does the auto combo just automatically do like A, B, C in the special mode? Uh, so there's A, there's light, medium, heavy. Uh, the starter will be different, but then it'll go into the same auto combo animation. Okay. Oh, you're Vizier. super? Oh, but there's air blocking. There's air blocking. Well, yes. Okay. Now, is it like, uh, uh, is it like Guilty Gear where you can't air block grounded moves. No, you can still use some. Uh, you can uh, air block uh, uppercuts as well. Oh, really? Okay, okay. So it's more like a like a Marvel Two Mon kind of game yeah, yeah, where you that. can air block everything, mm -hmm. basically. Almost like some moves, you, like uppercuts, you cannot air block. Okay. But that's when you have to like kind of like lab it to see which one can be air blocked. Gotcha. Blocked. Gotcha. So there are moves dedicated to being anti airs. Mm -hmm. So Esteban here trying to maintain his spot here. This is King of the Hill King. format. Whoever that, gets yeah. the most points wins uh, some money. And so, so far he's doing a good job of that. <laughs> <laughs> so while Esteban makes excellent documentaries, he's also a cheesy, dirty player. No, I'm just kidding. Just trying to see how much of what I'm saying he can hear. <laughs> so when does the Japanese version come out? I believe February 6th, I'm Character okay. select. I think. I'm not, I'm, I think there's a February 6th, I can't okay, remember. Okay. But so yeah. it's sometime in Begin February. The beginning of February. Okay, yeah. nice. Like literally like, uh, right after EVO Japan. Okay, oh wow, okay. And uh, Percival, what can you tell me about this character? Percival is actually more, I don't know how you would describe him in other fighting game Catalina. terms. He's, he's like a stock character, Percival. so he builds stock and he needs to charge his attacks to, uh, oh. not like, literally like, you know, like, not like Guile, like charge, but like physical, like, build, right, right. like old meter. Okay, okay, so, so he has a unique meter for himself Believe in then. victory. Yes. So Battle. One. When he does Engage. that, he gets uh, different properties to his attacks. He'll get like either uh, like plus one block attacks, like more hits, more damage. Okay. 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 So uh, is there like an obvious place where you can see that where his stocks are built? Or yeah, uh, his sword will either it'll also glow, and he'll have a little like little emblem gotcha. under his life. Okay. okay. Unfortunately, he hasn't used his stock, so or he has to charge so. <laughs> right. The thing with his charge though is it has a slow animation to charge, so you kind of have to get a knockdown to go into gotcha. it. Okay. Okay. So there, uh, Holy Order Soul almost kind of like, right? Had that charge yeah. as well. So his whole game plan is kind of to build a charge, but you can if you you can definitely just play footsies and to play neutral and, and fight without it. Man, look at but, this! Yeah, he's being a bully. Though. Esteban <laughs> is a bully. Not even letting him learn how to play the game. Yeah, I know, right? 
it's just like watching the animations, dude. It's just oh, yeah. so nice looking. Now, um, obviously, you can probably only talk about the characters that are here right now, right? I know there's definitely been some there's other a, there's characters. There's 11 characters. I know a lot of people are like, you know, all oh, 11 characters, that's that's not worth it. And right, it's like, right, it's like, No, no. I mean, games like Skullgirls started out with like, like four, four characters. Yeah, it was like yeah. really, really small. Um, I would mean, 11 characters, people are like, oh, that's small, but, but the amount of uh, the attention to detail to each character, I think, right. is what is what sells the game. It's like... And, the not, and not only that, but, you know, we were talking about how this could be a very good game to help for beginners and to get into fighting games. Having less characters means, you know, less characters matchups select. to learn yeah, right away, like but then you can pay attention to the details of every unique character. Because they're not going to see, like, yeah, if it's, like, 18, 20 characters, you're like, if it's a new player, they're like, I don't know... <laughs> how to take Handle, it all in, yeah. yeah so, because I mean, the original Blaze Blue only had like ten, so. mm -hmm. Catalina. and now they've Versus got like nine hundred characters. Yeah, so, so it's like, like all right, give them time. <laughs> now, uh, out of all the characters, you know that ha that are playable and have been revealed, are there any like grappler archetypes? In there this are game? definitely grappler. Okay, uh, awesome. There's a character Battle. named Ladiva. Whoa. She Indeed. is a, a grappler. <laughs> nice. So. I actually have really fun playing her. I'm not a grappler character, like player, but I actually have fun playing her. So. Okay, okay. Yeah, unfortunately, Percival's uh, standing light attack will with crouching characters. So that's uh, one of his weaknesses okay, okay. as well. Now, I just noticed the air to air knocked, uh, knocked Esteban down. Uh -huh. Is that only on counter hit or is that on all air to airs? Uh, on counter hit. Okay, okay. That's similar to like uh, King of Fighters, Battle basically. Two, engage. Getting the counter hits, get the free juggle afterwards, probably. But yeah, I would say, yeah, first of all, it's kind of so much order soul. He even has like a little gun flame, the fire that goes across. Oh, the yeah, that's right. <laughs> oh, he tried to charge right there, but he got hit out of it. That's the bot is just not letting anybody do anything. He figured out his buttons and he's like, you know what? I'm king of the hill now. Yeah. I'm, pretty wow. sure the, I'm pretty sure the chat is saying like, wow, I need a new character. This game, this game boring. Uh, Esteban trying to dominate here. Oh, okay. But we got Lord Jimmy Bones coming oh, okay. up here. He's uh, currently one of the best Samurai Showdown players. Right. He was an excellent... Uh, Street Fighter player, one of the stronger boxer players in North America, and now he's going to be uh, playing this. So you know, let's see if he can give Esteban a little bit of challenge if he's played the game before. You know. I saw him play a game before we okay. hooked up to this, the stream. So let's see if we can get that bully Esteban off of the machine here. So. <laughs> Also, yeah. there is also an overhead attack, a universal overhead oh, for everybody. Okay. Uh, normal, it's like, you know, just get a hit and that's about it. But if you do get a counter hit, you can combo into something. And that's right, there's a guard button on this game, even mm -hmm. though you don't need it, right? You, actually, you do need it. Uh, okay. The guard okay. button, it may just, you can use it as a guard like in Mortal Kombat. Uh -huh, uh -huh. Uh, you can block cross ups and stuff, but you can also use it as a, that's your way to step spot dodge. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Roll okay. Forward, gotcha, yeah. gotcha. So it, you can use it as an input. So is there any downside to using it to block cross ups or anything Catalina like that? Or? Not necessary. You can, you can just hold it and you just block cross ups. You just okay. can't, obviously, you don't have. The luxury of moving, right? Uh, you know, moving right. around after. So okay. So how many buttons are in this game right now? Default buttons, Default not counting buttons. like shortcut buttons. Shortcut one, two, Believe three. in victory. Battle five. One. Five Engage. buttons. Okay. So there's A, B, C, D. The, the, the unique action. Unique action is the D. Okay. All oh, right. So A, B, C, D, and then uh, and then guard. The guard. Yeah. Okay. Gotcha. Oh, there's the overhead. That's the overhead. Yeah. Come on, Jimmy Bones, don't let him do this to you. Yeah. Oh, there we go. So that's probably part of his unique action, right? Still like on top. The movement stuff that yeah. he can do. Watch out, Blitz will come and take the grab, so. 
punish. Oh, air to air. So that could have juggled if that it was countered. Right, yeah, okay. So <laughs> Nice, here we go. Gets in there to see if he can open him up. He got him. Goes for the auto combo there. Tries to set up that fireball. Ah, I see. He's got one of those, um, Lancelot has one of those, uh, pressure fireballs. Pressure, yeah. So I'll knock down throw above them. It's very similar to uh, Kai's heavy fireball. Oh, yeah. I know a lot about the guys. <laughs> <laughs> so are most of these auto combos uh, safe on block as well? Uh, yeah, usually they're, they're safe on block. Okay. So. But you do Ooh. lose your turn, so. Uppercut. Yeah, the only problem with Lancelot, his weakness is he has no DP. Ah, uh, okay. So he has no get off me move, no, essentially. Yeah. But look at this. I think this is the first time I've actually seen. Nice! Catches him with the low. Ah, there we go. I think this is the first time I've oh, ever seen Esteban lose a round here. Let's go, Jimmy Bones! The salt. <laughs> Sorry, we did not get a chance to blur the player camera down there. This is a family stream. Oh, so he's I can pick out the throw, sets yeah. up the fireball. Now, yeah, it looks like uh, Esteban trying to play a little bit more of a zoning game. I think playing a zoning game against Lance is a little better. Oh no, with the uppercut, so here we go. Opportunity for damage, gets the five hit. Now, Esteban has him in the corner though, but nice, I like that from uh, Jimmy Bones, oh. just escaping out of the corner. Juggles oh, with the auto combo as well. Down just right, a tiny is. bit, life. Can you die by chip? Ah, oh, you, you just got him low. And you can definitely die by chip. Ah, oh, chip damage is back. That makes me excited. I miss chip damage. Damn. I think this is the the hardest uh, victory pose for the opponent. Because he's nice to you. He's like helping you get back up. He's <laughs> giving you the handshake. I love you, Esteban. Come on. We need we need variety. We need variety. Come on, man. We need variety here. <laughs> <laughs> oh, is that Wooly? That here? is Wooly. Ah, oh, nice. Wooly Wool's coming up here, going up against Lord Jimmy Bones. They both play Sam Show, right? Oh, yeah, yeah that's right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They're yeah, Sam right. Show yeah. training partners. Kind oh, of. nice. Okay, okay. Yeah, Sam Show is another one of those games that's really, really good for Characters helping somebody. people get into fighting, fighting games. games yeah. Know? But as well as maintaining that. Uh, depth of play, play as yeah. well in the neutral. So we've got a good uh, slate of fighting games here for that. You know, uh, Samurai Showdown and now here Grand Blue Fantasy. A lot. So I'm Versus really excited about that. I'm really excited about like all the stats and everything that are going to pr provide it and all the single player content. You probably can't talk about all the things I that happen. Yeah. <laughs> Whatever we've yeah. shown you, that's all yeah, you Yeah, exactly. <laughs> so I'm not going to be here like, come on, tell me more, tell me more. In game. But, you know. But I'm excited to see the other kind of things that are coming out based off of what I've seen so far. It seems like they're trying to pay attention to a lot of that kind of stuff, and I think that's going to be important. So, yeah, the longest streak, the longest win count will get $250 Canadian. Canadian. Not U.S. Canadian. <laughs> Canadian dollar not very strong right now. Okay, okay. I'm gonna do. I'm gonna use Google here to get version. <laughs> conversion here. Because I know I also Ubered my way over here, and so I want to know how much that actually cost me. It's so. uh, 190. Okay, there that's you go. A, that's a good money. Yeah, yeah, for sure. For a little exhibition thing. Yeah. So yeah, watching Lancelot Mirror is uh, you see a lot of movement. <laughs> oh yeah, and that's the same problem with that Kai Fireball because it has that slower startup at the beginning. It just stays out for so long. Yeah. You fall on it when you jump on and you jump over it, but then you hit it after you hit. Oh, oh the double clash! Nice. 
Yeah, if they clash on A, it's probably really easy just to get the whole, yeah, the whole clash. Thing. But they can spot dodge right in the next move, uh, and so that's kind of like, what's your next move? Because gotcha, we're both doing gotcha. the same thing up right now. Look at this, Wooly going in on, uh, on Jimmy Bones right now. Yep, you see that air, that fast fall, fast trying fall. to apply some pressure. Oh, here we go. He's going to be able to get the combo. Oh, no, he got the hit after he landed. But I don't think he thought it was going to combo, so he just kind of stopped right afterwards. Battle three, engage. All right, here we go. Setting up that fireball pressure after the knockdown, but jumped, jumped over and got thrown. Yeah. yeah, but you can kind of see that Lancelot obviously doesn't have the range that a lot of the other he is characters not have. Not much of a range character. He is definitely an in-your-face uh, mix-up character. All right, so he's got the corner. Yeah, it kind of reminds me of uh, like from Under Night in Birth, like a Seth Light kind yeah, of. Yeah, Seth. You know? Seth. Obviously, doesn't have the same kind of crazy uh, movement option that Seth has, but definitely very similar look and style kind of. So also, if you have noticed, uh, whenever you use a uh, Skybound, that's what they call supers in Final uh -huh. Fantasy, if you use a Skybound, it kills all your special moves. Oh. So if you don't kill with them, you might You're not have all your special moves back. So that's when like the opponent's like, oh, I can start coming in uh, on you. Okay. What's the input for Skybound? Is it universal for everybody? Yes, it's uh, Quarters of the Lord twice uh, heavy oh. for the regular. And then when you can see their life turn blue, that's like uh, their desperation, like super sky bound, uh, okay, which is okay. chorus to go forward twice, uh, unique yeah. attack. Gotcha. gotcha. So they have two different, two different ones. Okay. So obviously the the desperation one's gonna do more damage. Okay. okay. Nice. But the simple command for the sky bound is chorus to go forward once and uh, skill. Okay, and then that's just a weaker version. That's then? just the the re that's actually just the simplified version. Oh, okay, yeah. okay, okay, okay. Gotcha. Yep, so right now, again, this is King of the Hill. Current leader is Esteban with seven wins. So already, Jimmy Bones taken down. He only had the one win. And so Wooly took him down on the mirror. Oh, we've got Grant. So is he the main character, I'm assuming? He's the main character. People assume he'll be the Ryu. I think he's more like the Ken. Nah. <laughs> His range isn't as good as Catalina. Catalina, I think it will be the Ryu. She's okay. more the footsie base. He's more like the rushdown. Aggressive type. Okay. He still has fireballs and uppercuts, but his range isn't as good as hers. Gotcha. So, so far, so the characters we've had are Graham, Catalina, Percival, Perry, Lancelot, and which is the last Charlotta. one? Charlotta. Charlotta, yeah. that's right. Okay, the, the little Blanca character. The Blanca, yeah. <laughs> oh, there's the uppercut, yep. Oh, so you can chain into the universal overhead then. Yeah. And it looks like it's slow enough that, so you, you know... Can you can block it, yeah. Yeah, it's going to be like a Dragon Ball where you can react to the Taurus beams and stuff. Now, what's the properties... <laughs> of course, I'm always a scientific guy, so I'm asking all these questions like this. What's the what's the way that the corners work? Is it Street Fighter V like that you can jump over them in the corner? Or? Oh, no, you'll always be on that. Okay, outside. okay. So it's more like the original Street Fighters, yeah. like three and two, that you cannot you jump over somebody in the corner. Then. So the only corner mix-up you'll get is like high and low. Okay, okay. Oh, there was the clash the again. They just went full sweep. Oh, he came back to the same side. Dang, that did not look like he was going back to the same side. Try to spot dodge, yeah. And what's the spot dodge command? It's block and... Uh, uh, back and block. Back and block. Yeah. Oh, okay. So in other words, if you want to just block with the block button, you have to be at neutral or yeah, block. Neutral, yeah, neutral, Ah, okay, okay. Gotcha. <laughs> and then forward roll, I'm assuming, is forward and block. Forward and block. Uh, you're, you, you're invincible to highs and mids, but you're open to your... Uh, lows so they can just hit you out with like low so if you're just like they, if they know they're gonna try like you know if they're in the corner and try to forward roll uh -huh. you just you know low attack and then they're gonna get hit gotcha, out gotcha so. gotcha yeah because we see a lot of uh players with um uh lancelot right now going with that crouching a it looks that's, like that's uh yeah crouching a and that's, two a, two a, that's yeah. gotta be a low then basically yeah, right so that's that's gonna definitely one of his uh better buttons it's gonna keep people from rolling because <laughs> we haven't seen a lot of rolls yet it seems like Rolls are, yeah, I think, more situational. It's, it's not, select. you can't just like abuse it. Okay. Yeah, so. Good, 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 good. That's good. And that's part of the whole, you know, learning to use it in neutral. Like, how fast are the rolls? So if you're fighting against a Katarina 
and uh, Catalina. 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 Yeah. Sorry. Katarina is the Tekken. Tekken. We're <laughs> Tekken. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry. Uh, when you're fighting against the Catalina and she throws out the standing B, and let's say you roll right before she throws out the standing mm -hmm. B, can you punish in time or probably not? You should be able to punish in time. As okay. Even it's a good button. It still has a recovery to it. Okay. So. If you time it correctly, you can definitely get in. Gotcha. Okay. So there's see, there's a little extra aspect of that footsies, which is really cool. Also, like when you run, they have a, a startup run animation as well as a slowed animation, like Believe Guilty Gear. And skin. unfortunately, Guilty Gear or um, like Guilty Gear has the, the faultless defense, the uh -huh. green. In this one, there's no faultless defense, and there is a run animation recovery. So you have to spot uh, dodge. Spot dodge is instantaneous. Gotcha, gotcha. So well, obviously, spot dodge is more risky though. So you can't block during your the end of your run Running skid, you're still, but you're you still gonna skid, yeah. Yeah, but you can spot dodge. Gotcha. Now it looks like Wooly is trying to be the bully here. Wooly, bully, bully, bully. Does anybody even know that song anymore? That's like a '60s song. Man. I know it, but that just shows you. <laughs> <laughs> hey, look, I learned about that song from the Chipmunk Adventure movie, oh. okay? Let me tell you that right now. I was listening to KR 101 <laughs> back in the day, so. Oh, dang, so the universal overhead on counter hit can it's, it's combo, combo off of it. It's very combo. Dang, okay, so that's that adds an extra risk there. Now, how punishable is the universal overhead on block? It's actually pretty safe. Oh, really? Yeah, so okay. you go back, I mean, you lose your turn, but yeah. Okay, okay. I like that. Not too many punishable things, so that way, you know, it's not. But they're not gonna push anything. You go out, walk up, and throw them, right? Right. So. Yeah. Oh, here we go. Skybound. Got him. Ooh. And not that much damage off of it. Interesting. Okay. So it's not like one of those just like crazy. Ah, I'm gonna yeah, do like 30% like, yeah. of your life. Oh God. Once when again, he does so that fastball, he recovers so fast. Yeah, so that's the when they're in the corner and they do the fastball, you can just immediately go two way and you're like, oh, if you aren't if you're not crowd blocking, then yeah, you're just gonna get hit out of it. <laughs> hey, uh, Michael, what stream is this on? Just Canada Cup Gaming right now? Okay. Okay, cool. I just wanted to tweet this out at the same time, so. Can I tag you on the chair? Sure, you can okay. tag. <laughs> was it the anime? What? Or was it? Oh no, I'm thinking of somebody else. What was your? Uh, it was Freakmaster. That's right. Okay. Zero one. Oh, yeah. Mat Matza. Uh, zero one. Yeah. Right. Okay. Catalina. And, uh, uh, and Grand is uh, one word. Oh, okay. Gotta make sure I do that correctly. Yeah, we'll, we'll get, I'll get yelled at by <laughs> That was like when people would, uh, Dragon Ball Fighter Z. Yeah, like it has people to be like, get, yeah, yeah, it has to be fighters. Yeah, so Graham, like, B is lowercase, and then you gotta fight versus at the end of Fantasy, so. Canada Cup Gaming. I know it's a long title, but. Yeah. That's us. Grand Blue Fantasy Believe versus. versus, versus okay. And then Engage. B is lowercase. <laughs> Ah, okay. <laughs> <laughs> so Esteban is once again playing Catalina, playing uh, the neutral. Oh, okay. uh, okay. Yeah, unfortunately, yeah, that, uh, his super skybound is like the Makoto dive kick super. Oh, he goes off the wall, right? It just bounces out. It can change the trajectory, but unfortunately, yeah, it's uh, not invincible on coming down, so you can get hit out of it. Gotcha, gotcha. And when you get hit out of it like that, you still lose all of your... You lose all, yeah. So. Dang, okay, okay. That's brutal. Yeah, I think uh, Esteban has come back here. He's got to make sure Wooly Wolves doesn't keep the streak going. Going with Katarina, uh, Catalina again. Sorry, that's gonna take me a while to get that right. <laughs> they both start with K. And yeah, I know. They rhyme, okay. Uh -oh, oh. Yeah. 
but it also has the the guilty gear. I'm sorry, the blaze blue exclamation mark, yeah. Yeah. So letting you, you know yeah. that you blocked the wrong way. So, so this, this game is very like I guess once again beginner friendly. It'll teach you like okay, if you're crouching and you see the ex double exclamation, that was an overhead. <laughs> if it's a single exclamation, it's a low. Gotcha. Now, if you get thrown, there's obviously throw techs in the game, there's right? There's throw break, and there's also delayed throw breaks, which delayed is obviously bad because when the thrower uh, throws, uh -huh. if you, the thrower doesn't tech fast enough, you can still tech it, but they have a, they have a little stagger animation, uh, so they fall back. Okay. So it's like kind of like uh, more like uh, smash. Super turbo that was like smash. Thing. It's like uh, they, you know, you trip. And smash. Oh yeah, 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 uh, yeah. I think brawl. I think uh, what, yeah, uh, uh, uh. you trip. It has like that. They have like a little falling, like okay. stumble animation. Are they punishable when they stumble or no? They but they're like they're basically at a disadvantage. Very, yeah. very negative, right? Because they okay. can. So the opponent has like they're standing, so they can follow up with whatever. Okay. Now, when you do get thrown, is there like a little exclamation mark indicator in this game? Uh, I no. know, like in Blaze Blue, if they combo into it, there's the little exclamation mark. Uh, you can't up. combo into throws or okay, anything like that. Okay. So, so we, if they if they get thrown, then just the yeah, animation gets being thrown. Okay. Gotcha. But unlike those anime fires, you can't be comboed from throws. Okay. So a throw is a throw. So if you guys are too just tuning in, this is a Grand Blue Fantasy versus King of the Hill exhibition. I'm joined here by Jason uh, from Exe. They are the publishers of the game here in the states. Of course, the game is being developed by Arxis. The exhibition that we're doing here is King of the Hill. So the person Characters with the longest win streak is going to win. 250 Canadian dollars, almost 200 US dollars, and currently on the screen is Esteban, and he is the current leader with seven wins, and it is seems like it's going to be kind of between him, Jimmy Bones, and Wooly right now. So of far, all the uh, unless another seen. killer comes up. Yeah. I did play Justin Wong at PAX West. Oh, nice. And yeah, he was, uh, he was uh, not very... Uh, <laughs> Easy to play. Was <laughs> <laughs> yes. he using Catalina? No, he's actually his grand. Oh, really? Okay, he says okay. he's. The, he Believe says he claims he's the best grand. One I the mean, game. look, how uh, it's hard to argue against that, right? And again, shout outs to everybody. Hello, I'm James, and you can introduce yourselves. All right, I'm Jason. I'm from XC Games. So, uh, if you want people to, f I mean, uh, obviously I'm on Jay Chenzo on Twitter. I don't know if you want people to follow you. I'm uh, Freakmaster zero one. That's number one. M A S T A. M A S T A zero one. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, Freak Master was taken, so I <laughs> had to be. Of course, the yeah, number, yeah, yeah. I had to be the number uh -huh. one. <laughs> I mean, like our Twitter for me and David is Ultra Chen TV. Uh -huh. We wanted just Ultra Chen, but that was taken oh, already, taken. so we couldn't do that. So. And you go look him up. Like how many tweets you do? One. It's like yeah, the guy doesn't use it anymore. <laughs> so you know, have to see if somebody could hook us up yeah. by you know like <laughs> taking it from him or something. But. But yeah, so uh, we're here watching some Grand Blue Fantasy Versus uh, again here on Canada Cup. Uh, you know, this is the new game that's coming out, being developed Character by Arxis, and you know a lot of, like as you Catalina. mentioned, they're Guilty Mental. Gear, Blaze Blue, they are uh, Dragon, Ball Fighter. Dragon Ball Fighters. But unlike those games, this game is a lot more uh, neutral based, more it's fundamentals sl slower. based. You can tell what's going on the screen. Yeah. <laughs> you know what you got hit by. And all coming with that patented, beautiful Arxis uh, 2D, 3D, 2D 2.5 animation. Yeah, exactly. Believe so you can victory. see in all the wind poses Battle. and all the supers Engage. whenever you get the animations. It just looks so beautiful. And so uh, Esteban has been going with Catalina, more of the very, very neutral, fundamentals-based character. And uh, Lord Jimmy Bones going with Lancelot, who is more of the rush-down, quick, short-ranged character. Yeah, a lot of, lot of mix-up in his attacks, so he's very scary to deal with. Yeah, and I see that there's multiple attacks during the jumps, and if you crouch too early, you will get hit by the overhead. So you gotta be careful. Oh, yeah, so yeah. there we go, the wall bounce combos. Oh, that's the, the light wall. Uh, that was the, throw, the delayed throw break. Oh, I saw the stagger. So I actually, on the throw break, yeah. I saw him, I saw uh, Catalina fall back on her, on her butt, basically. All right, yeah. gets him with the overhead. And again, those double exclamation marks letting you know. Yeah. You stood up too early. <laughs> yeah, so Esteban took out uh, Wooly's win streak, so Lord Jimmy Bones trying to start his right now. Dang, that air-to-air -air button is super yeah, good. That's also a B. <laughs> Dang, okay, so she's basically B the character right now. 
Be Catalina. Be the character. Yeah. Yeah, that B being cancelable in the fireball at which that is, range yeah, too is, is like so good. Yeah, so this game is auto combos but also has proximity normals too. So uh. you, can't just, you can't just spam it all the time. And I'm a big fan of proximity normals, okay? So I'm happy about that. I'm happy about that. So proximity normals cannot auto combo, but it can uh, special cancel. Oh, really? Okay. That's so why her, stat, her neutral uh, by B, far B, is uh, fireball. Yeah. So basically, the, the far moves cannot chain, right? Cannot chain, but okay. they can special cancel. Gotcha, gotcha. But I did notice that her crouching B can chain into her standing B. Or yes. is that, is that, oh, okay, okay. Uh, I think it's a link. Yeah. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Or it might even just be a cancel to the fireball, and it just kind of looks like that. Because I know you can cancel 2A into 5A. Okay, uh, okay. 2A to 5A to uh, auto combo. Yeah, look at him. He's all like, hey, let me help. Let me help you up. GG's. Shake my hand. <laughs> what does he say? Like, my skills have improved thanks to you? Is that what yeah, he says? I think that's oh, no, it has be has my skills have uh, become... Oh, I can see it on one of our tiny screens, but like it's so scaled that it's hard to see. My skills have become better. I, I'm going <laughs> okay. to assume it's better. Okay. Stronger. It says stronger thanks to you. My skills have become stronger thanks to you. How much voice acting is in the game? Do they do they have the voice acting speaking out the lines? Yeah, they actually do talk. So every everybody talks in this game. <laughs> and even if it's 11 characters, they all have unique dialogue with one another. So it's kind of oh, like the Mortal cool. Kombat. Uh, they, yeah, work, they all have yeah, unique yeah. dialogue with each other. That's awesome. So if people don't know anything about Grand Blue, you can find out more about the lore nice. as they talk to each other during intros and outros. Now, what kind of game is the original Grand Blue Fantasy game? It's an RPG. Um, it's basically it's a mobile RPG. It's kind of like okay. Final Fantasy. It's a you. It's a team of four, technically six, but four in the front, two in the back as like backup. Gotcha. Uh, and then you fight like a you know like a big boss. Okay. And then just okay. beat him up. So. So that's that's kind of what the um, the RPG mode is kind of simulating. It will be like RPG RPG mode. People that play RPG mode will have like a taste of what the original game will okay. feel like. But instead, you're actually fighting You're actually doing fighting, yeah, game. fighting moves instead of like, you know, just pushing buttons and tapping the screen. So Like one of the clips that I did see was two people and they were fighting a big giant monster Yes, you do have like well. a boss, like a giant boss you have okay, to that's work really together cool. and fight. Oh, that's really cool. So those kind of things will just help you get familiar with the characters, Char help you, you learn know. how to do like, you know, the movements. Right. So mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Okay. it's kind of like teaching you how to play the game. It's nice. I like that. It's, and that is similar to Brawl as well, because Brawl has had the subspace uh, emissary. emissary yeah. yeah. Which I actually thought was really cool for it, from a, uh, you know, help you learn your characters. Mm -hmm. It also helped you uh, figure out which character you like the most. You yeah, because they, they make you play every single character. Yeah. yeah. And then in certain areas, they let you choose whichever ones, and then you're like, you know what? I feel comfortable with this character, yeah. so you stick with that character. Oh, that's going to be a punish. But Lord Jimmy Bones did indeed take out Esteban. So right now we've got a little bit of a RPS here. Uh, yeah. But we've got a new challenger coming into this ring here. But it looks like uh, Jimmy Bones is going to be the bully now, just hitting him low all day. The 2A, 2A is good. Is that the EX uppercut that we're seeing from Percival where he slides forward in the uppercut? Uh, if he's blowing yellow, then it's an EX. If it's just yeah, okay, uh, okay. Yeah, okay. Yeah, that was a, that yeah, was a yeah. light one. Yeah. Uh, his, yeah, his medium uppercut will move him forward a little bit. So it's not the greatest DP win because he moves forward a little bit. It's kind of like Juve almost. Ah, so the EX one, it's like Eunice then where you do it with the C button and with the it C comes button. out as the special. Oh, yeah. So basically you have the three versions, light, medium, and then EX essentially. Yeah. Got it. So it's very similar to Eunice then. Okay. So that's the EX right there. Yeah, okay. That's the EX one right there. Nice, ooh, little spot dodge right there. So, so if you can see a Percival's uh, skill, they're all charging very slowly because he just uses the EX. Right, okay. So you can see how long it takes for him to throw anything out. So the EX creates a longer cooldown. A much longer cooldown. So that kind of shows the opponent, like, okay, you have no fireball now. I can just do whatever I want. Oh, that's a good question. So because you have the special button, to do the special moves, which version does it do for you? Uh, so, defaults to light. 
Okay. So if you want to do your, the medium or the heavy version, you have to press the press the skill plus the corresponding button. Ah. So medium and skill, heavy and uh, skill will give you the EX gotcha. version. Gotcha. So you can still pick it you by still hitting pick the it. buttons at the same yeah. time. Gotcha. So what's the default layout on a control pad right now? I'm assuming A, B, C, D are all in the face, Yeah, basically. so squares, light, triangles, uh, medium, yeah. circles, heavy, X is unique, R1 is your skill, gotcha. and R2 is your uh, guard button. Gotcha. But when you pick up the game, you can set to whatever controller you're more comfortable with. For me, personally, when I play with a stick, I prefer R1 to be my uh, heavy. Of course, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. That's how I modify all the games, yeah. you know, always <laughs> ABC, want light, right? medium, heavy <laughs> yeah. at the top, yep. And then you can probably put block, I, like I might put block on the thumb just because it's an easy access button. However, again, you don't need it, right? Uh, only for inputs, but for only actually for actual blocking. Command, yeah, you can just hold back to right. block, yeah. Although, just in case if there are cross-ups. For example, if uh, Percival... It is Percival who, who's the fast one. No, no, no Percival's Lancelot, the other Lancelot's one. Lancelot's the fast one. That will just do fast fall. Yeah, yeah if he does the fast fall and you don't and know what side, you, you can, can just hold, hold the block Hold button. down and, yeah. yeah. Character select. So I'm terrible with names Lancelot. and faces, so it'll take me a while before I get it. <laughs> well, it'll be, it'll be here all weekend, so yeah. you'll see a lot. So you, at the end, you're like, I'm, I'm, I know the lore for every character. Right. <laughs> they all talk to each other so many times. Yeah, I mean, to be honest with you, it's been at a lot of Lancelot events that I've been to. I have not personally had a chance to sit down and, and, try, and, and try the game yet, but I'm definitely eager to because, again, the game is beautiful. And two, I, I really like, you know, the, the beginner-friendly aspect of it while being a very neutral heavy. So I'm very curious to see how that's going to work. Because, I mean, even a game like Dragon Ball, like, can be kind of beginner-friendly, but then you've got, like, Vanish and Super yeah. Dash, which kind of... I don't see that as a beginner-friendly no, game No, and then the game gets nuts, and then it's not even as beginner-friendly at all, as it turns out. I believe it's, like, one of the harder games. <laughs> it's, like, much harder than Guilty Gear. <laughs> yeah, he has a wall jump to do so. Nice, okay. Ooh, air clashes, okay. Trying to go for the super, nice block. Oh, he didn't expect the third hit. Everybody forgets the third hit. <laughs> Dude, I will get hit by that like nine times before I remember that there's a hit, there's a hit there. That's like me whenever I block Darlie's super. Oh, I block yeah. the first hit and I try to hit her and then I die, so. Makes me sad. Oh, okay, uppercut. In the middle there. Oh, no. Good block. Oh, he tried to uppercut in the middle. So he's gonna get punished right there. And again, I like all the little messages that show up. So obviously there's punish when you hit someone out of the delay of their move. Counter if you hit them out of the beginning of their move. Uh, like what down means, obviously you've got to knock down, right? Oh, invincible even tells you when yeah, there's invincible the, the moves. The invincible, then they're like, okay. So nice is just, you know, hey, good job on the combo that you did, basically, yeah. right? Okay. Yeah, I like that. I like the information like that, and I think more fighting games need to start implementing yeah, that. Like, they're like, you know, complimenting you for like, all right, nice yeah. job doing like a, the special command. Oh, what did ready mean? I believe, I'm not sure, like, I'm not even kept up with all like the names. Okay, of it, okay. I'm assuming ready might be like, okay, your moves are ready to go. Gotcha. All so right. you can see, like, yeah, he has no moves. None of them have oh, any special yeah, moves. Oh, yeah, you're right. So they're all have to play neutral. <laughs> That's funny. <laughs> yeah, they're trying to throw moves. <laughs> Okay, finally yeah. got the fireball back. Oh, In recovery, that's when you air flip yeah, out of the air. Yeah. Crush! Okay. Yeah, again, for me, I'm just like really interested in all like the little technical things that are showing up, so. But again, like I said, oh, and there's just blocking in this game. There's just block. But it has no uh, frame priority. It's mostly just build more meter. Oh, okay, okay. So you do get rewarded for it, but yeah. not, it doesn't change it's, the frame it's, it's data. It's not like that yeah, guilty like gear, like just gear. blocking like that. Okay. All right, so we see just there. Yeah, I, I really like this so far. I, I mean, just, it, it feels like it's really well thought out in terms of trying to, how to help beginners play fighting games. Obviously, we're all still trying to figure it out. Like, uh -huh. every developer is trying to figure out different ways to help the, the beginners uh, learn fighting games and stuff. But this one seems like, with a lot of the information on the screen and having multiple ways to play, like to do the special moves and stuff, while at the same time not 
you know, skimping on some of the, the more complex stuff like counter hit, overhead, getting the yeah. combos. And I was, I was talking neutral. to Justin and he's like, yeah, this game I feel will be more hit confirming. That's like how the game will probably uh, slowly yeah. evolve into. Auto combos are good, but getting that Mine's one, you know, like hit confirm into sure super one. or skybound mm -hmm. or super skybound or hit confirm into special, like that, those are all going to be very key in this game. Now, another question too is that are the auto combos like if you start a combo with like A B A A A A and you finish the combo, does that do more damage scaling than like if you do manual A B C or start with B C? Uh, they're all the same. They're all yeah. the same. Okay. Okay. So the game was just trying to make it as simple as possible. Okay. Auto combo is like A A or okay. so basically A A or B B B C C C. They all have like they just have a different starting animation, okay. but then okay. the auto combo will be the same animation. Ah, gotcha. gotcha. And it's always gonna be three hits. But if you start it with C, it'll obviously do more damage. It'll do more damage. Yeah. Right? Okay. Gotcha. So if you want to punish, do you want to go with like a B starter or? Gotcha. So if it's like an uppercut, you have plenty of time. You can go yeah. for the C and then get the max damage. Gotcha. Okay. Nice. And uh, does her height make her so she can crouch under a lot of things oh, that no, other characters can't? She is the uh, same height as everybody. The okay, crown on okay. her head is a hurt box. <laughs> so everybody's like, hey, she's like Yoda. She's like, not fair. Like, no, she is uh, okay, the same height okay. as everybody else. Man, only she knew she just had to take the crown off of her head and she would gain such an advantage. No, she has a height complex, though. Oh, okay, she's, okay, she's got like, it. So in this game, in the Grand Blue world, she's a Harbin. Like, the, like... They're like the H word from that Tolkien. I don't know if I can say it. I'm right, like right, right, right. Okay, fair so, enough, fair enough. They're like dwarves. So they're always going to be this height. So she has a height complex. So she wears the crown. Ah, so she's not going to. Okay, see, there's a lore reason why yeah. she, hit, she can get hit in the head. So when you're hitting the crown, you're not actually damaging her, but you're hurting her pride, yes, which also it. drains her life as well. So there you go. That's the lore right there. So just because he's a small character means you have the advantage. <laughs> They're all the same. And that's the craziest thing. Like, if you actually walked up to somebody and said, you know, like who didn't know anything about, too much about fighting games or anything like that, and you said to them, hey, look, this is a 3D game, they would just be like, what? Like, that's like, stop lying. Right. <laughs> I still remember when the first Guilty Gear Exerd trailer came out. Oh, that was... I remember when it panned around them and it spun around them. That was mind-blowing. I was like, wait, what? <laughs> and when they did that, I thought that was an effect they just did for the trailer. Yeah. I didn't believe it was 3D for the longest of time. And then people were like, James, it says Unreal Engine. And I was like, no, no way, no way. And sure enough. Yeah, and then Revelator came out and was like, oh, we added lighting to it. I'm like, yeah, I know. Okay. <laughs> Why don't you make it more cleaner and nicer <laughs> to look at it? And that's the craziest thing, too, is I remember when Exert Sign first came out, I was like, this game is so beautiful. Then as it kept going, like, Johnny's instant kill and Viking's instant kill and Answer's instant kill, like, they all just got fancier and fancier. Dizzy, like, everything, like, her wind pose with the squirrel and everything yeah. like that. It's Lancelot. all just so beautiful. Lancelot. Oh, man. Yeah, and then you look at, like, Dragon Ball, and it's like, I'm like watching an anime. Yeah, basically. I know, right? <laughs> and then there's those people who played all the other Dragon Ball games. They're like, what is this? I don't like it. It yeah. looks choppy. And I'm like, you guys don't understand. Do you guys not like to watch shows? <laughs> you just want to you barbarians. <laughs> oh, man. Yep, there it is. That 2A. That yeah, the 2A kick confirms. <laughs> yep. Obviously, it's going to be something that's really important. Now, are there any sort of like uh, push block, uh, alpha counter mechanics, no, kind of you stuff are, like that? If you you better be good at blocking and defending. Gotcha. Okay. Nice. There's, there's always going to be a hole. You, there, you, you, there's not going to be like, any, like you know block yeah, strings course, that you're going to be stuck in there forever. Like you just have to recognize the, the auto combo strings, basically. Yeah, you, you got to know when it's like, oh, it's safe, or it's right. now your, it's your turn to take. Yeah, that little... Uh, Special where a Lancelot goes into the air is probably going to be more effective against Lancelot because yeah. he has no uppercut. Right, right, yeah. yeah. And there's that fastball. Take it's. You, it feels like it feels like it lands quicker than it looks. Yeah, like you just crazy. land and you're attacked like that. It's so fast. 
It doesn't help his uh, sweep as a slide. Oh, uh, okay, okay. So that's got to be pretty punishable if you block it point blank, blank, right? Oh, here we go. Setting up the fireball yeah. pressure. Got him. Oh, he went for it, but no. no. Punish. Dang. Is it punishable? It's it it looks like it recovered yes. fast. Oh, he got him out of the fastball. No fastballs for you, Lord Jimmy Bones. <laughs> Trying to build up the streak, and now Esteban is going to get nervous yeah, here. Yeah, Esteban's like, uh, his win streak is getting uh, smaller and smaller now. Let's go, Esteban. <laughs> Will he mix it up, though? Will he still go counting? Or will he oh, he's it? definitely going to go. He wants, he he's going to go with what he knows, because he wants that two, He wants that 250 Canadian. Thing. So, I'm gonna tell you here, you can't do the button config in the character selection. Oh, okay. <laughs> you have to do this <laughs> of course. So I'm assuming you just come Here's here, hit start, one. you can yeah. probably just, oh yeah, Op options button. Sorry, yeah. I'm old school, start, <laughs> start button. button. <laughs> yeah, I had to get used to it too. I'm like, start button, like what's a start button? Like, oh. <laughs> what about the select button? What the select button? Yep. You mean share? It's like, uh, sure, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> Lancelot versus Catalina. Yep, gonna go with that Catalina. She is the queen of footsies in this game. Yeah, <laughs> she looks like she's gonna be very strong at the at, at very high level. Like she's gonna Believe be. In victory. I mean, I feel like Battle someone like Justin one. will Engage. get really good with this kind of character <laughs> stuff. Uh, <laughs> You can see this pressure, but not using the block button. That's one of the things that they've got to learn to use when you see that fastball. Try to use the block button. Oh, he missed the juggle. Assuming he should have been able to get a juggle there. Oh, jumped over the fireball, but no punish. No punish, yeah. So another thing in this game is there are air throws as well. Oh, okay, yeah. okay. But it doesn't lead to anything. It's just a knockdown. But, but I like that, though, because that means if someone jumps with the intention of air blocking a lot of you stuff, can you can just air throw, air throw them. Okay, but you can tech air throws, right? Yes. Oh, he oh, jumped into it. <laughs> oh, no. So now here comes Esteban. Gets the overhead, and that wasn't a combo, but he still gets the follow-up afterwards again. Just going with the overheads constantly. But it's going to get counter hit. Oh, my God, he's still alive. Doesn't want to get chipped with the slide. Catching him low. He wasn't expecting that. He was just standing and got caught. Yeah, when Esteban had him in the corner, it could have gone into a soup, uh, skybound. Yeah. Unfortunately, did not do it. Nice. Uh, did say punish. It wasn't. See, this is why I like that. Now as a commentator, I can be like, that was a punish. Because sometimes they hit it late. Oh, there was the perfect tech right there. Ooh, okay. Gets him out of the uppercut. And now the throw towards the corner. Gets him with the overhead, but that wasn't a counter hit, so. Okay, throw after that. Safe. It's, it's safe, though. Okay, okay. So the, 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 the sword charge is safe on block, huh? Uh, the overhead. Staff. Oh, the overhead is, yeah, 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 okay. Oh, that was sick. Nice. Oh, yeah, just crouching, wake up with the crouching B. <laughs> and the screen transition every third round. Oh, dang. Battle three. Nice. Engage. I'm sure all of these backgrounds come straight from the game. Yes, and stuff, right? if you're a fan of the game, you will definitely recognize these places. Oh, he went for the throw, but a little too early. Oh, oh what? Under. Zoning out that fireball again. Even that standing A from her looks really good, yes. too. <laughs> All of her buttons are very good. Okay. There's that B in the fireball, but jumped away from it. So interesting, at max range, crouching B in the fireball does have a gap in there. Yeah. Okay, okay. The thing Esteban's using is the, the B stinger, the staff. Uh -huh. Of course, that does not combo. Only the light. Oh, uh oh, I saw him touch a button. Oh, uh, no, he got hit. This is the super sky. Is this going to kill? And it won't give you a life part of the show. <laughs> That's Dang, it did. It'll, it'll have a cinematic ending. It's, it's a different ending. <laughs> nice. <laughs> oh, I've already gotten to give my first, is it going to kill? Yeah. <laughs> I got to do my first is it gonna kill already here for Grand Blue Fantasy. That's awesome. <laughs> Esteban stopping the streak.
keeping himself alive. <laughs> the kids, by the way, are documentaries that he's been producing. Check them out on Twitter at the best the bun. He just released one about the Fighting Tuesday that Majin Obama and Juna run in Japan where they play all sorts of fighting games like Dragon Ball, like Tekken, week after week, uh, creating an awesome local. I don't know if it's the biggest local that they have in Japan right now for those games. It but feels like it, though. Yeah. Because half of those games aren't in arcades. I don't think Soul Calibur is not an arcade, and Dragon Ball is not an arcade right. either. And also, by the way, you know, sh obviously, shout outs to the Besteban or Esteban for making that documentary, but shout outs to Giuna and Majin Obama as well for continually doing that and doing it week after week. Yeah, I think they've been doing it for over a year now. Yeah. So that's, that's very, that's very cool. Very, that's a commitment, yeah. Sacrifice, it's tough, man. Sacrificing their, their Tuesday. Yeah. To, <laughs> To do it's, that. it's a tough situation. The guy, everybody who's always asked me, like, oh, you know, uh, I want to start a local. What's the key, right? And I always tell them the same thing. I always tell them, after three weeks, you will not want to do it anymore. <laughs> it will be feel like work. You're going to be cleaning up after everybody gets to go home. And so, really, it's about the consistency and the dedication. And it is sacrifice in order to maintain a local like that. And it really does come down to the dedication and sacrifice of, to a lot of those guys. So again, shout outs to Giuna and Majin Obama. And uh, his entire crew, because yeah. obviously they just can't do it by them by themselves, right? Exactly. Two of them. They actually have their own so. team of, what they, according to Majin Obama, immigrants. <laughs> <laughs> oh, jeez. It's all their foreigners oh, that are man. doing the tournament for them. So. And you know, I know everybody out there always wants to see Majin Obama's feet. Well, then you can, because it is a wonderful feat yeah. to be able to put on that week, to put on that, uh, Weekly and it's free. Oh, it's is it? Yeah, it's free. It says free to enter. So it's free to enter. No, no. Uh, what no, no strings attached. You just go in there and whenever you want. Nice. If you're ever stuck like, in Tokyo, yeah. It's a, nice. Unfortunately, I've never been to it. I, even though I go to Evo Japan, I never had the chance to go to it. Right. Yet, I've always been like busy after. So exactly, exactly. Engage. Same here, same here. I never had a chance to go. Do you know what the venue's name is by any chance? Uh, Red Bull. I know it's the Red Bulls. Oh, okay, Red nice. Bulls, yeah. okay. And here we get to see a little bit more of Grant here. So now it's like, yeah, the battle of the show does. <laughs> you saw right there, you know, not fully invincible uppercut. There's just invincibility yeah. at the start. Still yeah. got hit by the fireball. I miss being able to uppercut through fireballs. I think that's cool. Oh. Uh oh, did he get him? No, do not touch the button. Oh, but it's not fast enough to punish. Ah, oh, but he rolled forward instead. So no punish, he just rolled instead. So you can spot dodge that if you see it coming from one. Spot dodges, I think. The go-to uh, counter, if you see it coming from a mile away, oh, okay. yeah, spot dodge. So what's interesting about that, though, what's interesting about that, though, is that uh, you can the, 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 the super that Gran has might be punishable, but very only lightly punishable. Yeah, like, and his project and his skybound is a projectile, it's like a So oh, catch him with the overhead. overhead. There we go. Oh, I hope everybody at home has been enjoying this. Actually what I'm going to do here. Uh, I'm gonna jump into the chat here because I know there's about like 700 people watching here. They have questions. Yeah, and I'm gonna field some questions from the chat over here. So if you guys have any questions, uh, let me know. I see uh, Mr. Callisto in the chat already, kind of talking to some people over there. Shoutouts to Callisto, KO Cam, Evil Bion. I see you guys uh, in the chat right over there. If you guys want to ask some questions, make sure you do an at Canada Cup. What's up, super dude guy? Oh, I hope you're feeling well, Corey Stoker. I'm sad to hear that you are in a hospital right now, but I hope you are doing well. Uh, I can try to tell people to pick fairy, but they're going to pick whoever they want to pick. Yeah, here, they, they, so. they want to win. <laughs> yeah. But again, if you guys have any questions, let me know. Charlotte. <laughs> I'm glad. I thought I did it wrong, Evil Bind. Ah, I see Viserius in the chat as well. Shout out to Viserius. When's the next beta is being asked by your opponent? Uh, beta, we still haven't had any uh, discussions about that. So okay. We're not uh, sure as well. 
Because obviously we don't have control over that. We have to talk to our system works has a lot and control over that one if they want to okay. do it. So. Gotcha, gotcha. Yeah, everybody wants a. Uh, oh, okay. Victory. Actually, they want just to heal here. Perry's theme. A fairy's theme. Theme? Yeah, fairy's theme. I think is a really good song. Now, is it is it that they want to hear it, or is it una is it ironic like Nana theme? No, it's actually <laughs> okay. I, okay, it's, it's good. <laughs> Uh, I'm not saying that Nazi theme is not good, it's just, so I like very good. Kyle Cam asks, how do we like the game? Do we think it's a Street Fighter, as everyone says? It looks like it right now. It looks like it, so. Oh, ready means they have 100 meter to do the Skybound arts. Gotcha, oh. that's what that message is. So there we go. And that's the meter at the under their life meter right over there. So when their health is at 30%, you see a little notch under their uh, under life bar. You see a little like right here. Oh yeah, that's yeah, the yeah. marker for it's like 30% is oh, that's okay, true okay. their life okay. left. And that's where they can do the super desperation. The super, yes. And how does the super be build up? Does it just build up over time, or do you, oh, you yeah. can actually run and you can build? Up oh, it's Guilty Gear style yeah. then. Okay, okay. So I saw it going up. So your, your meter will build very quickly, but. If you want you spend it to do your skybound, the next time build meter is much slower. Oh, okay. Now some a Lionheart asks who's the character not in the current roster here that's playable that we're looking forward to most playing. Obviously that's Obviously, I'm like I already Yeah, played you the played them all, so that's not balls. fair. So yeah. And uh, you know, I mean just full disclosure here, I'm not super familiar with all the cast and everything like that. So I probably I do not have an answer for that. Although you said there is a grappler in the there game, is a so I'm definitely there, there is a David character. <laughs> yeah, David character. There you go. Hey, Esteban, pick pick fairy theme. Can you pick the music yeah, on it? You should. Be, you should I think you should be able you should go to. to stage stage select. Stage select. Which one's her stage? Uh no, that's, that you can actually pick the stage and a theme. Oh, will be, so okay, gotcha, gotcha. Some some people are saying Ladiva and Festiva. Are those characters? I'm Festiva is the Japanese name. Ladiva is the English. Ah, okay, gotcha. Oh, so they have different names. They have different names. Oh, yeah. okay. Like didn't in they Japanese, did they learn from Street Fighter too? Yeah, so I was like, because Charlotta is the English name, but Charlotte is the Japanese oh, name. Oh, okay, yeah. okay. So they have. Uh, slight name differences. So we're here doing some uh, uh, Dark Stalker syndrome here. Yeah, it's like the All Bath and Rico and Lord Raptor and and Zabel. Yeah, <laughs> Zabel Zarak, Zabel. Shinko Zarak. and Lele. Yeah. Which I preferred Lele Character though. So yeah. Okay. Okay. Lele and uh, Lin Lin, right? Yes, Lele and Lin Lin, as opposed to Shinko and Mei Lin. Mei Lin. It's not confusing at all. Uh, what was it? Um, shoot. Uh, Wow, all the names have just dropped out of my head. Talbane and... Um, Talbane was Gallon. Gallon, that's what it was. Yeah, Gallon. 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 <laughs> I do prefer Talbane. I'll, I'm not going to lie on that one. So, Gallon, like literally G-A-L-L-O-N. Dimitri Morgan, Lilith, they're all the same. Jetta's the same. Yeah, I think they're all, all the other ones the same. Yeah. But there's like four characters that are like different names. It's really weird. Oh. Believe in victory. What's going on, sir? Engage. <laughs> Do you want to jump on for a little bit? Yeah, because I'm kind of hungry. I, I kind of want to. Okay, so Justin's going to go eat. Oh, okay. Justin says he's going to win this for free. Yeah, yeah, I mean, he is self proclaimed best grand in the world. <laughs> it's hard to argue, man. Look, if you get a video game that is based on fundamentals, and you get Justin in there, it's it's over at that point in time. So right now there's six playable characters in the demo, but on release there will be 11, 11 characters. Yes, that is correct. That is correct. Uh, does Training Room have frame info or is it $4? Oh, uh, I don't want to get into it. <laughs> okay, okay, never mind. I don't know how much I can talk about Training Room, but... Okay. Oh, La Diva is the grappler. Okay, yeah, nice. Grappler. Okay. Gotcha, gotcha. Yeah, I mean, I'm curious to what people in the chat think of how this game looks so far. 
this is really probably my first down, first time sitting down and really getting a good look at this game. And I really like what I've seen so far. It looks like it is a very, it's going to be a great game for teaching neutral, and it has enough of the character archetypes, you know. Uh, Zenith, uh, this is uh, myself. I am James Chen, and uh, I am joined here by Jason, aka Freakmaster, from Exceed, which is the company that is publishing, publishing it, it yeah. here in the U.S. Yeah, Sai Games is the company publishing it in Japan. They're the, ah, they're, they okay. own Grand Blue, the gotcha, IP. Gotcha. So. They're the ones who originally made it, right? They're, they're the ones that yeah, who sponsored. Side Games is the one that have made uh, yeah. Grand Blue Fantasy, Shadowverse. And yeah. they're the ones who sponsor Daigo the Beast and everything yes. like that, right? Side Games, Daigo, and Side Games Beast. The, the Beast team, yes. Characters. Ah, sounds like uh, keep keep on rocking is gonna show up here, so gonna try to get in there with the streak as well. Which oh, there we go. Versus Fairy, there he go. Court breeze. Oh, he's just going through the great. different songs oh, yeah. now. Okay. I mean, if you want a win streak, you might as well have different themes, right? <laughs> <laughs> just mix it up. Versus yep, this is going to be Esteban versus Wooly Wools. Or I should say, uh, the Besteban versus Wooly Wools. Yeah, the presentation Believe right now is, is super nice. Battle one. Engage. Well, that's the that's the thing, KO Cam. Right now, what we're seeing right now is the players are obviously doing this very straightforward, playing this very straightforward. But once we start factoring in the rolls and the spot dodges and all that stuff like that, it, the complexity in the game is probably going to go up just a little bit. Yeah, spot dodge is definitely underutilized. And right, uh, and, and it's going to be like Samurai Showdown. Yeah, the game is not a game with a lot of, like, crazy tech and systems and stuff like that, but the neutral is still so fulfilling in that game. So, uh, yeah, but that's the tricky thing, right? So that fastball where you can go left and right, don't forget there is a block button. So if you're fighting against Lancelot and you know he's going to go for one of those fastball left-right mix-up, you can use the block button to block either side. Yeah. But you can't just defend with the block button. Uh, right? No, because you're holding it down. Unless right. you time it exactly. Oh, so you, you might be able to still you do it. You might do it, but I mean, like, you might just hold back and just right. it much faster, right? Someone is asking if you guys are going to show up to Frosty Faustings next. Uh, we're still in discussion. We definitely okay. want to, yeah. So. Nice. Okay, okay. And that's the thing, right, KO Cam? We're sitting here watching this through guilt, through Arx's eyes. You know, you're you're at, you're saying, oh, look, you know, right now one character has the most ways to open people up, but a lot of it is just going to be coming down to foot Yeah, right? it's all neutral. Yeah. So I mean, it's, it's interesting because you know when you play Street Fighter Five, sometimes it's hard to figure out how to open people up with them as well. But it really just comes down to that uh, Street Fighter Five RPS, right? Which is the throw, shimmy, attack kind of RPS. There's definitely shimmying in this game <laughs> in the corner. So Yeah, the block button covers both sides, yes. But um, you don't have to use it. It's not one of those things that you have to use, but you do have to use the button to do the spot dodges and the roll. Yeah, delaying strings. Yes, exactly, KO Cam. Trying to get people to th hit buttons in the middle of your block. So, like, if you do auto combo, like A, B, and then stop, or like A, A, stop, and then try to attack again, yeah, you might do that as well. Now, how much can you delay the auto combo? Can you do, like, A, 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 like, put a little gap intentionally uh, in there? No, I don't think there's too much of a delay, but okay. for the start, the starting animation, close B, like, close mm -hmm. A, close B, you can, like, you know, you don't have to go with the auto combo. You can do close A and then close A again. Right. If okay. you time it correctly, okay. yeah. So Which will throw people off, right? right? It's more like Darkstalkers, Guilty Gear kind of um, string timing where you yeah. have to do it on the hit. Not like Marvel, which I can do like A, I can do light, light medium, yeah. heavy, <laughs> and it all still combos, yeah. Rolls and dodges both lose the lows, yes. Grand versus Catalina. But you know, if like for example, against Catalina, 
since he is such a neutral character, you can probably try to do the rolls during the uh, neutral to be able to punish people. Believe in victory. Battle one. Engage. Believe in victory. Starting off with the fireball at the round start. Seems like a fireball. Has no access to EX Oh, yeah. The, the, the cooldown on that was yeah. much longer. But it just kind of shows you that, hey, right when the game starts, you get immediately go to EX <laughs> The fireball recovers so fast, he was able to do poke fireball, yeah. poke fireball, poke fireball. I'm assuming that's probably because he's actually doing the quarter circle forward motion yeah, as well, right? Oh. Yeah, that, 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 that's the excuse. Throw him off, you know? Be like, my buttons weren't set up for this game that I barely played. No, I'm just kidding. I'm, I'm teasing him, but I'm... Nice overhead. Once again, the B, the B is very good for her, but just keeps Yeah, up. the poke fireball, too, I, I noticed from max range, it looked like there was a gap in there as well. So you might even be able to try to get through there. A character like Lancelot, I don't know if the slide startup is fast enough to get under it, but I'm wondering if people can jump over it. The strength affects your cooldown as well as the manual input versus shortcut, yes. So the EX1 takes longer takes to cool down. Much, much longer. Yeah. So I don't know who's keep tracking of all the win the wins for the I don't know like if Esteban <laughs> how many wins Esteban has so far. Hey Esteban, do you know how many wins you have in this streak? You're at six right now? Are you sure you're not inflating it, right? I believe, I believe you. I believe you. <laughs> <laughs> so we're at, so yeah, the guy running the stream is not at the stream anymore. So I don't know how long it goes. It might, it might, it might be all day. <laughs> Justin said he's coming and stealing your streak, by the way. <laughs> I cannot repeat what he just said to me. <laughs> Character select. Oh, it's an hour and a half. It's an hour and a half, Esteban. Catalina. I don't know, but he's at six wins Show right now, Michael. Fifteen minutes left. Okay, okay, it's nice. Okay. So, so Justin has to get to your fifteen yeah, minutes. Yeah, so Justin's not gonna do it then. He's not gonna do it. He's not gonna make it to seven. But fifteen minutes left. Oh, uh, whichever at this point, pick Perry again because Perry again. Because people want, I don't know why, it's because Percival's in the Percival. game. Percival. <laughs> because there's the P-E-R and it's messing me up. My, I have a very flawed brain. People know this. Catalina. Okay, it's back. It's back. Okay, cool. Yeah, uh, Michael just went over there and took care of it, so. Yeah, 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 yeah. It's fine. It's fine. People said it's back right now, so. Okay, cool. All right. <laughs> So you will get matches where you just they both run into each other but don't push a button. They just kind yeah. of so it's like And that was not her ducking the fireball, that was the forward roll that, that the we saw yes. from Charlotte. <laughs> yep, they are negative if you block the overhead, so it is your turn. Ooh! Clipped with the uppercut. <laughs> it's interesting that she's actually a, a charge motion character. But if you have the skill button, you just walk forward and do it. Oh, okay. So you don't I need mean, to try. You, okay, okay. You lose the, the cooldown, but Engage. you can't walk forward and do it. All right. Blue insists that I need to hear Fairy's theme afterwards. I'll uh, do that. I'll look it up on uh, on YouTube or something like that. Unless you DM me a link, Blue. If there was another franchise like Grand Blue that you would like to see get a fighting game, which would it be and why? Uh, I've always said I really want an Avatar Airbender fighting game. Fighting game. <laughs> yeah, I've already thought about how I would do it in my head, too. So. Oh, yeah, we all planned it out. Yeah, Here's I've my already... concept, mm -hmm. my documents. Mm -hmm. <laughs> like, it would, the storyline would be a time rift kind of thing, so that you could put Korra characters oh, in there yeah. and stuff time like travel, that. Yeah, yeah. Time travel's always. <laughs> time travel, and then you could even put, like, some of the past Avatars in there, yeah. you know, it would be really cool. So, I think that would be sick. <laughs> Oh, 
A fate grand order, huh? Okay. Uh, that, that's... <laughs> I don't know how much money that's gonna take. <laughs> <laughs> but I know it'll make a ton of Some money. Some people are saying happens. puzzles and dragons. Puzzles and dragons, I can see that. Dungeon fighter, probably. Dungeon, they yeah. have a versus mode all in there yeah. already, right? So it's just basically take any Japanese anime franchise and <laughs> or game franchise and have Arc System Works do it. Seriously, I mean, I've been actually saying that I feel like that they would be the best at doing a Darkstalkers game that, that as well. Yeah. And I've actually had some people say that they don't think that they would want them to do it. And so I, I, I mean, I don't know because I all right. So I stream sometimes, <laughs> and one time I streamed Darkstalkers like I think like last week. Uh -huh. Just I played Darkstalkers Resurrection. Nice. Okay, I tried to go online. Okay. Obviously, no one's playing it anymore. So <laughs> I played it like the story mode. Yeah, the animation is ridiculous though. Yeah. How much that also has so much detail to the character designs. Yeah. I mean, uh, someone told me that they feel like that they would rather have the Skullgirls guys do it. And I was like, oh, yeah, of course, if you want to keep it 2D, mm -hmm. absolutely you'd want someone like the Skullgirls team to do it. But Versus you got to imagine they would try to move it 3D so that they can have more cinematic Next. supers and stuff like that. I mean, that. it's also like different styles, right? Because Skullgirls is more of a Western cartoon right, style, that's while true. Mm -hmm. Arc System Works will be more like, you know, anime style. Right. So. Well, again, Yo and Fly, it wouldn't be. I'm just talking about the art. I'm not talking about the mechanics. I'm not talking about however the online works yes, or whatever the, the like visuals, that. Right? Yeah, just the art style. I would want the other company to like actually develop all the others. Like Capcom, I would like. Well, then again, Capcom online is not necessarily that much. Of, I mean, MBCI was great. I don't know what happened with. Uh, well, no, because Street Fighter Five came out first. Yeah. So. So you can see this lockdown with this bar B and crouch B into fireball and just can't do anything. <laughs> and yeah, she is negative, but she also has the range at that point in time, right? Yeah, so like, so even though you have she you might be able to take your turn, you don't have any moves that are fat, fast far enough, enough yeah. and fast enough to be able to take that turn. Ooh, okay. So that looked like a little bit of a delayed attack when he landed from that. And Akata Esteban hitting buttons. Here we go, trying to get himself yeah. into that maximum range for fireball. Any, anything, Oops. Would, yeah, anything would have chipped out right there. Right there. There's that stand A, it looks so good. Such good range. So that should be eight now for Esteban. I think he, he took eight takes, unless yeah. someone just comes in and gets eight wins in like 10 minutes. Mm, Katarina is the game's guile slash Charlotte, huh? She is a Charlotte. She's okay. she's a fencing character. As always, a fencing character is always extremely good. Okay. I mean, I Charlotte is probably my best character in Sam's show, even though I'm a Jubei you, yeah. main. I I'm a Jubei, Jubei main, but I played a lot of Charlotte just to help everyone get practice, and I know she's good, so I really wanted to uh, made sure everybody, like character the group that I was playing with had Charlotte practice, Catalina. and she just ended up being a better character for me. Like, I, mean, I was better with her than Jubei. She's less technical. It's very... You only have like one goal, yeah. right? So. But it's great because those are like two of the best characters in the game. So my 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 roster of characters is is super solid. Yeah, I'm I'm still maining a uh, Tam Tam. So. Oh, nice. Okay, okay. Catalina. I haven't played the game in a while, so I haven't tried out uh, uh, Shizu or. Uh, oh, Basura okay, as well. okay. Shizu is super good. I heard he's really hard though. Like he's a technical character. Well, he has one particular combo that's really, really hard to pull off. But outside of that, like if you just ignore that and just play him through just a lot of fundamentals and stuff like that, he just also still has a lot of the most like air movement options and stuff like that. So he's still really good outside of that combo. Ooh, oh, counter, counter hit, so yeah, he's gonna get you the combo. You can definitely tell it's a counter hit. You can hear it yeah. too. Yeah. Like, oh. And just, they do a good job with the game. Like, you could just feel yeah. it, like, with the way the screw game freezes a little bit. It's really cool that they decided to make the overhead attack very effective. Because if the overhead attack was very punishable, then there would almost be, like, yeah, it would be use, so right. hard to open people up in this game once you get in. Here we go, Lancelot, nice. Sets up the fireball. Put down very low. Oh, come on, just needs one more hit. Uh, fireball is not ready. Oh, the slide there. Oh yeah, he went for the fireball and he didn't have it. Yeah. That's gonna take a while. Like, 
The thing about it is, the more you play the game, the more innate inner sense you'll get of when your things recover, just based off of, you probably won't even have to look at the screen, yeah, at, look at your meters as much. It's just like, the more you play Guile, the more you just know your charge yeah, for right. the Sonic yeah. Boom. I remember feeling that way as I was playing Rising Thunder. Like, I barely had to look at the meter after a while. You just kind of get an idea of it, so. <laughs> the animations of this game is super good. <laughs> so, Yashoki in the chat asks, how is Grand Blue? I'm a boomer now, and I don't have time to learn complex stuff. I don't have that young man time. I couldn't play Eunice. Well, yeah, this, this is a good game for you right game, here. Yeah. It will, and, and the nice thing about it is it will still have the complexity of the neutral, so you'll still have the things that you enjoy about fighting games. Well, it's probably one of the most important factors of fighting game is the neutral. The yep, front, so. exactly. Oh, uh, yeah, the, the venue internet is not doing well here right now, so apologies to people at home. Shoutouts to all the guys in the chat watching this right now. Character select. Yeah, it's one of the hardest things about uh, running an event is hotel internet, man. You, you, yeah. You're so reliant on them on that. Yeah, if it's like, yeah, not good, then you get chewed out. So it's like, okay. it's yeah. you have like no control over that anyway. Character so. select. Mm -hmm. And the worst thing about it is, too, and I've seen this happen millions of times, you'll be the TO, you come in here, you test the internet, and it looks great, and then on the actual day of the event, it's just like it doesn't work. Yeah, it's so crazy. Grand. That's always like the worst for any like, event. You're like, oh, it's, it's, it's fine on my end, and, and then next day, it's, Dude, it's total disaster. I always called that arcade syndrome, because like I used to play in the arcades, and a button would stop working, and I'd oh. go and tell the, 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 the worker, Believe and they'd come over, and then the button would work just fine. And I'm like, what? It's like, why are you wasting my time? Yeah. But the funniest thing is, I eventually started working at the UCLA arcade, oh, really? okay. and I had someone come up to me, and they're like, my button's not working. And I was like, all right, I'll go see if I can fix it. And I walked over, and the button was working fine. Oh. And they're like, I swear. And I was like, I 100% believe you. Gave him a credit and walked away. <laughs> uh. Yeah, I did actually just find out, though, that the original art director for Darkstalkers has returned to Capcom. Oh, really? Uh, the, the original art director for Darkstalkers is back at Capcom or something like that. If that's the case, then, you know, I would hope that they would be able to do something really cool with the way Darkstalkers looks. Because even something like the Manat costume or the Chun-Li costume for Morrigan and, and Felicia, like, those, uh, those models look good. But I don't know if that's what I want. Yeah, it's I like want that doesn't translate well. It's, got, it's just hard to see Darkstalkers being a 3D game. Yeah, I want the stretching. I yeah. want the. I want the, the. The. Again, I always bring this up. Art Eater, uh, a guy named Richmond Lee, did a great article about why Darkstalkers is like one of the best animated video games of all time. And they talk about how it follows all the principles of animation, and all the stretching, all the startup, all like the, the little swishy, you know, lines mm -hmm. and stuff like that. It's so good. However, they did a lot of that good stuff in Dragon Ball Fighters, you know. But that's why I would want Arxis to do yeah. that kind of thing, right? So, yeah, it sounds like a lot of people are lagging at home on the stream. Apologize yeah. to, to the viewers at home about that. Character select. But we're proud and purely at the at the end of this right now. I mean, at this point in time, Esteban is clearly the winner here of the 250 Short Canadian month. dollars for AK, King of the Hill. 200 U.S. dollars, yeah. roughly. 190. 190 and 18 cents. Yep. Port Breeze. Yeah, if you guys want to uh, check out Esteban's new documentary that he did on Fighting Tuesday in Japan, Charlotte. you definitely want to check that out. He's been doing a lot of good good stuff. He's been doing documentaries for a while. Uh, uh, for the group uh, Hold Back to Block, which is his group, basically. He created Hold Back to Block. Believe in victory. Battle one. 
in GAC. Guilty Gear does a lot of beautiful stuff. And I didn't even realize that um, they started doing a little bit more interpol interpolation stuff as well. Uh, you can see it like when in the Guilty Gear trailers for the new Guilty Gear game, when someone gets punched, like you see them kind of slowly yeah. moving. When they're, it's really nice. I mean, it's just a satisfaction. You see them like when they get hit, you see them reel back. So that's like, oh. Yeah, probably this is uh, Charlotte's thing. If, it, if they're playing against. Well, maybe not. I'm not sure how it defaults. Probably defaults to the first player. Yeah, this is Charlotte's thing right now. So. Oh, okay, it is. Okay. I do like her animation when she gets back up. She, like, fixes her crown. Oh, yeah. She, up, she gets back up. <laughs> All right, get knocked down. I want to see this. Okay, don't get knocked down anymore. I do like the lore, though, that she has the height complex. Oh, here we go. Oh, we didn't get a chance to see it. Oh, what was that? That was a spot dodge. Oh, but what, that, 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 what about the little, like, blue hexagon thing that showed up? Oh, that was her, uh, like, her focus. Oh, her okay. That's oh, a unique attack. Oh, okay, focus. okay. That's right, that's right. You mentioned yeah. she has the focus. She has a little focus thing, yeah. Yeah. So the the crazy thing with her is on even with the, when you let go of the focus she swings uh, uh -huh. you can still forward cancel or back dance cancel after oh, okay, the hit okay. so it's like even if you hit or block she can back that right. she can so it's just like, like the focus attack she's like what okay. like, yeah. all right yeah charlotta's unique action is like a parry that's literally it's a parry it oh a really? she goes to the stance and if you hit she has a unique animation okay okay and so if you parry it, do you, can you just instantly act afterwards? No, no, it's a, it's a, it's a special animation that goes right oh, into it. Oh, so okay, it's like okay, a hit okay, and gotcha. It's a, it's a knockdown. So yeah. if she parries it, then she automatically yeah, counters. Yeah, that's an attack, yeah. Gotcha, okay. So it's more like a Goken kind of parry. Yeah, it was a, yeah that's what it yeah. I forgot Goken had a parry. Yeah, I know, right? <laughs> <laughs> which was an unblockable, too, which is really funny. Catalina, Percival. There was actually some situations where you could actually hit people and they couldn't block it even though they were recovered. Yeah, so Percival is a, a big damage character. Uh, a lot of people on Twitter that are showing how much damage uh, he does when he's charged up. So oh yeah? it okay. does okay. ridiculous amount of damage. Oh, it's like the Alex parry. So can you keep holding the parry and get no, parry? No, it's, a, it's, a, it's a actually a one-time. Oh, okay. And then she has to go into recovery animation. Gotcha, gotcha. Okay. Yeah, again, if you're used to the kind of arcs as, you know, kill to gear blaze blue craziness, it's not what you're going to get. This is definitely a more footsie-based game, yeah. slow-paced game, neutral heavy game. Yeah, they're not jumping around like crazy. Yeah. It's, it's very, they're always on the ground. <laughs> So you always know what's going on. Yeah, yeah I'm just wondering if you, uh, somebody in the chat asked this too, if she does max range B in the fireball, if you jump forward, I wonder if you can punish her in time. Maybe, but you have to, that's the thing you have to test, right? Right, so. exactly. Or maybe even if jump's too slow, maybe you can even do the forward roll in time, spot dodge the fireball or something. Yeah, that's that right there as her, her C. Oh, there it is, the focus, yeah. Well, she gets the crumple, oh. but drops the combo afterwards. Finish. Now, the running attacks is just you do your running standing. You just Same, do your yeah, running normal running attack. attack. Yeah. Okay. It's not like uh, Samurai Showdown where they have unique running right. attacks. Yeah. Okay, okay. Yeah, I figured that's what I asked earlier if, if the Lancelot slide was fast enough. Apparently, someone says in the chat that it is fast enough. So, there you go. Again, you're watching some Grand Blue Fantasy versus King of the Hill action. The winner is definitely Esteban. He's on like a nine game, ten nine, game win streak right yeah, now. Ten. So uh, and there's only like Character five minutes left. Yeah, so exactly. That no so he's really good. So I mean, now I can probably just switch to another character and be totally fine. Yeah, I know. He still right? sticks with Catalina. <laughs> Pick another character, Esteban. <laughs> Port Breeze. <laughs> you already got the win. <laughs> <laughs> well, he's found his waifu, oh, I guess, okay. yeah. 
I know that Lord Knight is in love with Catalina. Oh saying yeah, that oh, she's okay, like probably okay. one of the be better characters in the game. Okay, so. okay. Yeah, I mean, like, obviously, you've gotten to play the characters a lot here. How, how's the balance built to you so far? I think it's good. Like, every character is viable. They have their own weak strengths and weaknesses, so... It'd be really cool for people to start labbing these characters and finding out some crazy things. Yeah. Because, I mean, I, I feel like as a fighting game developer, if you design a game so that players can't come up with something that you didn't think of, then you did it badly. You know what I mean? Like, I feel like fighting games, you, it has to be in a situation yeah, where... You, you need some creativity, right? Yeah, so. exactly. You need to have the ability for people to come up with cool tech. Oh, punish! Here we go. Hard knockdown. Yep. Oh, that's not what he wanted, mm, but... Nope. <laughs> Wooly's like, what happened? I didn't mean to do and Esteban's like, don't yell at me. You're the one with the execution error. Engage. Nice, catching the forward roll. So there is a little delay at the end of the forward roll as yeah, well, is. right? Okay. Unless Cat Catalina's uh, 2A is also a low. Oh! Nice, trading on the clashes. That throw is very, um, isn't that like Jin's throw or something yeah, like that? Yeah, it's like nice, yeah. Yeah. Oh, counter hit. That's it. When you hear the counter hit, it's like, well, I'll put my controller. <laughs> yeah, I know, right? <laughs> so what's the what's the deal with that picture afterwards with the fox and everything, or with oh, the, the dragon? Oh, is it a dragon? Yeah, it's, oh, okay. it's uh, Grand's uh, team. Oh, so Grand okay. and uh, Lyria, the the blue hair girl. Oh, okay. okay. Yeah, they're like linked in life gotcha, so gotcha. since technically grand died in, in like a battle uh -huh. she came in and linked her life with him to keep him alive ah, interesting okay so, so that's why they travel together come back from the dead and the dragon is just his friend Character talking okay. friend the dragon Vern, is the mascot of the series essentially Short says samba de amigo yep. It's the Pikachu of uh, Grand Blue Fantasy. Charlotta versus Fairy. Yeah, it'll be a while, KO Cam. Uh, Japanese version coming out early February, and we've got a little bit more time. Obviously, we want to, well, I personally want to have like a simultaneous release. Right, of course. But obviously, yeah, it's yeah. like, you know, One. lights Engage. and like, talking, it's like very yeah. hard to do, like planning. Translation so, work is. Translation. I mean, there's probably a ton of text in this game too. Everybody talks. So fighting much. game and a um, and a role playing game, you know. Yeah. How did they? How did they? Oh, d he actually did pick a different oh. character. <laughs> pick fairy. Nice. Okay. Uh, can you tell me anything about like any of the voice actors? Are there any of the famous voice actors? Doing I can this? only do the Japanese on them. So, okay. Yeah. Okay. But I don't know if they. There are any like ones that you might know, so. Okay, fair enough. Oh my god! She like threw a cat out and it st stayed there and then it exploded. Oh yeah, the cat is a. Uh, so and a dog? She's got like a leash? Yeah, she has a team of like animal, like ghost animals. Oh. Spirit animals. Okay. <laughs> so the Doctor. cat is like a lockdown. So I remember Nerd Josh played Fairy a lot uh -huh. and came up with like unblockables. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, nice. Okay. So, yeah, the lockdown there. Oh, and then the cat even comboed a little afterwards, it looked like. Yeah, so Fairy is like more of like the zoning uh, set play character. Mm -hmm. So her jumps are much slower compared to others. Right. Now, what what's the deal with cross-ups in this game? Does everybody have a cross-up or? Uh, some characters have cross-ups, yeah. Now, but is it one of those situations where like they just automatically turn around when you jump over, or is it not that way? Uh, just, they still automatically turn around, but because like, they have auto correct sometimes. Oh, yeah, well, yeah, so, yeah. Okay. Ooh, yeah, that was her overhead. She steps back. Oh, so. interesting. Okay. Now Esteban's going to get mad at me for telling him to pick Wait. another character. But it's cool because we actually get to see a little bit more of the character variety here. Yeah, that oh. was a parry anime. Oh, that was awesome. That was 
Well, that's going to be even more confusing because now, oh no, but no, it's Charlotte that has the parry. Yeah, the line. parry. Okay. I was about to say, if Fairy had the parry, no, that's not the case. Okay. What's a Fairy's unique? Uh, it's a little like a drill move like that. So it basically it's like a chip damage. So oh. on block it does like an insane amount of chip damage. Really? Yeah. Dude, this character has cats. Has cats. And, and it has chip. This almost kind of feels like this might be... Is it your character? Might be a character that I want to go with. Do you want to play this kind of character, though? I mean, I don't mind zoning characters, to be honest with you. Just, just this position right here, just all you're doing? Finish. I've always, like, for example, when I played Anna Karis, I know he's rushed down in Darkstalkers, but my favorite thing to do was just fly back and drop curse coffins people. on people's and heads. Curse. Just drop coffins all day, yeah. And they jump in just do the, the crouching uh, heavy. <laughs> Uh, Miyuki Sawashiro is Kami's voice actor, oh, and she Catalina, voices yeah. Catalina in this game. Nice. Okay. So, she plays Catalina and plays Kami, so they're both good characters. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, trying to figure out what the situation here is. Character select. Grom. Catalina. Port Breeze. Checking King of the Hill? Okay. I can come back to that. Catalina versus Grant. All right, guys, um, actually, um, True Sadist asks if this game works with share play from PS4. Uh, I've been victory. not sure about that one. Not sure? Yeah, okay, that one okay. I'm not sure. No problem, no problem. But uh, I'm hungry because I haven't eaten anything, and I didn't have any dinner last night. What? <laughs> yeah, what oh, come in? I ate a lot. Well, I, I landed at, like, midnight oh. last night, so I was like, everything's closed. So I haven't eaten anything last night, and I haven't eaten anything this morning, so I'm going to go grab some food. All right, got it. But I uh, hope people enjoyed this, uh, but stay tuned. King of the Hill for Tekken 7 is coming up next. Oh, nice. I'll try to jump back on, hi there, on here for that. So I'm going to grab some food. I will be back. Thank you, Jason. All right. Thanks a lot. Thank you. Again, you guys can follow him at FreakMasta, M-A-S-T-A-0-1. On zero one. Yeah. Zero one. I don't want O-1. Right? Yeah, that's right. If I say O, that can mean O, yeah. Zero one on Twitter. Thank you again. Yeah, right. Thanks again. You can ask him a bunch of questions about yeah, it. it uh, obviously, he's working on the company that's publishing it here Publisher, so yeah. the so amount of uh information he can give you will probably be a little limited so don't destroy him with what character what, what no, modes don't, blah, blah, blah. don't come at me just, why is this character plus frames or like that right. I, look i don't control that <laughs> <That's not my laughs> exactly job. all right thanks guys for tuning in all right peace out take it easy Character select Lancelot Catalina <laughs> Lancelot versus Catalina. Believe in victory. Battle one. Engage. <laughs> Engage. <laughs> 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 
Character select. Charlotta. Catalina. Charlotta. Charlotta versus Catalina. Believe in victory. Battle one. Engage. <laughs> Character select.
Character select. Barry. Charlotte. Charlotta versus Barry. Believe in victory. Battle one. Engage. <laughs> Character select. Charlotte. Grom. Charlotta versus Grant. Believe in victory. Battle one. Engage.
ここからだ Character select. Lance of Charlotte. Charlotte versus Lancelot. Victory. Battle one. Engage. <laughs>
Character select. Charlotta Grand. Charlotta versus Grand. Believe in victory. Battle one. Engage. <laughs> Battle two, engage. Hey guys, just to give you guys an update on what's going on. This is going to be the last Grand Blue match that we're going to have on stream. Uh, we're going to be switching to Tekken 7 King of the Hill after this match. Uh, you know, so maybe nothing explode. Uh, so yeah, we also have to do a quick internet switch because we're on an incorrect ISP or something. So uh, after this match, guys, just hang tight. We'll be at Tekken 7. Character select. Charlotte. Catalina. Charlotte versus Catalina. in victory. Battle one. Engage. <laughs> Let's <laughs> go. 